Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and today I'm talking about one of the new features in the latest version of Premiere Pro. Now, what this feature is, is the ability to zoom in on our program and source monitors using keyboard shortcuts. Now, in CS6 and before, we could zoom in on our timeline, of course, using the plus and minus, or really the minus and equals keys on our keyboard. But there was no way via keyboard to zoom in on the actual program and source monitors. The way we had to do it was go into the menu, select the zoom or select fit, and do it that way, which unfortunately has the effect of being very kind of manual and clicky, and I don't love it. So it's great that they added this feature. The only issue is that there is no keyboard shortcut assigned by default. So that's not a problem. You go to Premiere Pro menu, keyboard shortcuts, and you just search for the word zoom. And you'll see under the panels menu, there's new options for program monitor panel and source monitor panel. And of course there is project panel as well, but I'm not gonna go into those shortcuts right now. So what I recommend using for this is sort of standardizing the program with After Effects. So what you can use is Command Plus for zoom in. So just click in here, hit Command Plus and it's actually command equals and command minus and then for zoom monitor to fit you can use shift and forward slash now the cool thing about this is you don't need to set a separate set of shortcuts for source monitor panel you're actually able to use the same shortcut in each and it just goes with whichever one is selected so you do have to set the keyboard shortcuts but they could be exactly the same and it's not going to give you an error message saying that that shortcut's already taken. So again, I'll just key in the same zoom in and same zoom out and the same fit shortcuts. And then it's nice and simple to use it. I can just come in here and hit command plus, command minus, and then to get it to fit, I could use the shift forward slash. And then if I'm clicked on the source monitor, the same thing. And that's it. Nice and simple, but a really nice feature to have, and I'm really glad it made its way into the new version of Premiere.